Hey everybody, welcome back to This Old Shrike. Happy Thanksgiving. Today, right now, right today is Thanksgiving. And uh, here I am making a video for you guys. But today, I'm not going to talk so much about three-wheelers. I want to talk about what I'm thankful for. I made a list of the many, many three-wheeler related things that I'm thankful for. And I think I'm going to go through them. So... I'm going to name drop a bunch of things. I'm going to give shout shout outs. I'm going to brag on people. And uh, if you didn't make the list, it might be I overlooked you. And if I do that, I, I apologize. But I tried to be all inclusive. And the reason I keep looking down is because I made cheat sheet, a cheat sheet here with all my notes. So let's, uh, let's get this started. So I'm in here where it's warm. It's about 41 or so degrees out there. It was warm enough for me to get my three-wheeler pressure washed from this past weekend, which I hadn't done. But uh, I've got this broken up kind of into categories. Um, kind of people that have done some cool stuff, uh, done some stuff for me over the past year, um, some sponsor type thank yous, some shout outs for social media uh, content creators, we'll say. Want to give a shout out to my subscribers and also my members, the This Old Trike Insiders. If you didn't know about that, those are a thing. And uh, just people that that I'm thankful for. So let's get this started. Start off with uh, my cool hat. Got this at Trike Fest from uh, Junior Goki and Carly Van Warmer. They, uh, they had a huge display of hats and I think they had mugs uh, etched mugs and magnets and i think i got magnets over here somewhere and i went to buy some last day of trike fest and they said nope those are on the house and i'm very thankful for that so i want to give them a shout out junior goki and carly van warmer i don't know if you can buy their stuff uh without being at trike fest but i think you can so look them up on facebook they're on there I have to give a shout out to my buddy marty marty martin kovix Legendary ATV Society, because he had these awesome banners made up, and he's selling them, so if you want one, find him on Facebook and reach out. Marty is an awesome dude. Sent me one of these. He uh, he always comes to my vintage show in the summer and uh, blessed me with one of these awesome banners, so thank you very much, Marty. Appreciate you. On the topic of banners, I've got this cool one. That is kind of covered up by that chair, but this other one over here, Sirwa Tires. Travis Gisclair and Matt Sirwa have teamed up and are coming out with all these cool tires to make our 250Rs look like they're supposed to be. 250SXs, they're just coming out with uh, ATC70 reproduction tires, so very thankful for guys like that that are taking the time to develop uh, products to uh, help us more properly restore our machines and uh, uh, make them look correct. So thank you, Matt. Thank you, Travis, for all you do with that. And I left it in the truck, but uh, I've got one of the first ATC 70 gas tanks that they're coming out with. And uh, I just saw on the face plant Facebook, yesterday that I think they're coming out with 250SX and big red gas tanks. So stay tuned for that. But very excited and thankful for guys like that that are doing that. I'm very thankful for Bruce Allman and Alyssa at Blue Line Graphics, BlueLineDecals.com. They are the best. Get all your decals. Timely, quick, easy. He did my 88 big red decals that I will hopefully be using very soon. But very thankful for Bruce and Alyssa. They are a class act and uh, very thankful to be good friends with them now. So, thanks Bruce. I'm very, very thankful for Curdy Eldridge at 223 Cycles. Whenever I need anything carburetor related, carburetor related, you know I can count on my buddy Curdy to uh, get me what I need. He's even got fork boots now. He's got, geez, what does he have? Brake levers. I might be just be making stuff up, but go to 223cycles.net and you can find a whole bunch of stuff that 
that uh, you didn't even know you needed, and you can get it from him. I'm very, very thankful for Mr. US 90 himself, Palmgren. Vintage Motorsports just got his new website put together and live, and just came out with new grab bars for US 90s. Uh, all this stuff is listed on his website now. Uh, I'll put a link to that so you can find him. But Mike is, I can't say enough nice things about Mike. If I tried to, this video would be longer than my, my mud flats video from last weekend. But just a hell of a guy goes out of his way to do things the right way. Uh, helps whoever is asking, um, He's become a really great friend, and one of these days, I'm going to take the motor, the 250R motor that's in this box right here, that he vapor honed the cases for me, and put it together, and then put it in this 250R that's down over here. But Mike Pomgren, Vintage Motorsports, uh, best of the best. Can't say enough things. Thankful. Very thankful. I was building the pink Palomino. I was very thankful for TJ Smith. And his frame extensions, uh, where you cut the backbone on your ATC 70. Smith Pro is his business name. So get your frame extensions from TJ Smith. And if you need anything ATC 70 related, you can count on Gordon Spangler. I wrote his website down so I'd remember it. HondaATC70.com. So you can get anything and everything. Motors, cables, exhausts, everything for your ATC 70 from Spangler's. And sometimes you might be able to find something you could use from Power Sports Surplus, my buddy Vinny Staffa's website. I'm thankful for Vinny. He, uh, he's become a very good friend. I know I like to poke fun at him a lot, but he brings it on himself, and he honestly he deserves it. So, But he's got a lot of cool products on, uh, on his website, powersportssurplusllc.com. It's like the longest website address ever, um, but he's got good stuff there. So check him out. And you can be thankful too. Thankful that I've gotten to know Kevin Grabowski from Canada. Met him at Trike Fest. He's got some awesome products that he he makes. He makes the the carb boots, uh, the airbox to carb boots for Curdy. He's been making the airbox lids that you see on Travis's website. Uh, he's always innovating and coming up with new stuff just to extend the hobby and and fill in the blanks when when we need products that aren't there. I don't know if that made any sense, but Kevin's an awesome dude. Thankful for him. Wanted to give him a shout out and congratulations, buddy, on your new baby. I want to thank my buddy Rex Slaughter for coming through for me in a pinch when I needed uh, some parts for the Pink Palomino at Trike Fest to get that done so my daughter could ride around. And uh, I'm just very thankful for that. And then I, I, after the award ceremony where it won Best Custom Trike, I had to disassemble things and, and return them so he could get on the road and get home. But thankful for you, Rex. Appreciate you. Gotta give a shout out to my good friend, Daniel P. Morris. He runs the Southern Off-Road Instagram account. Got to meet Dan at Trike Fest in person. We'd been talking quite a bit uh, online before that. He sent me a hat. He sent me a hoodie. He sent me a tumbler. Those are in the house right now, but my banner's up there behind me. So thank you so much, Dan. I appreciate that. And I've, I've really enjoyed becoming closer friends with you and seeing that gorgeous handlebar mustache. So I don't know how he does it, but maybe one of these days I'll, I'll get this thing turned up. Other cool Instagram accounts. I want to give a shout out to my buddy Kyle, who runs Old School Hondas. He is hilarious. And his reels and, and shorts and, and just short video content uh, that he creates is awesome. I can't. I can't brag on him enough. Um, very cool to watch him grow. So proud of you. Thankful for you, buddy. The other social media category, I want to brag on my buddy uh, Patrick Wells, Southeast Vintage Cycle Rescue. That's on YouTube. He puts together awesome videos, does really nice restorations, and uh, very thorough in his content and, and very similar delivery as myself when when putting his videos together and uh like that dry humor and that you know low voice and you know it's just what everybody loves but thankful for you patrick and i'm very thankful you, you took the time to come up and uh come to my event this summer that was very awesome and i'm honored that you would do that so thankful
Shout out to my buddy Gavin who runs Shred80. He's on, what is he on? He's on YouTube, he's on Instagram, he's on the TikTok. I'm on the TikTok now if you didn't know. But Gavin's awesome. I had a three-wheeler with some something in the dust written on him, but I can't see it. But very thankful to have met Gavin at Trike Fest. Him and Ty are class act. And uh, he is pretty much in person what you see in his video. So if you wonder if it's an act, maybe 10% maybe act, but 90% that's how he is. So pretty funny. Thankful for you, Gavin. For my buddy MRC Builds, he runs a pretty class act YouTube channel. And I talk to him on pretty much a daily basis. So uh, very thankful for him. We like to harass each other. And that's all I'll say. But thankful for you. Won't say your name. I know you like your anonymity. But but uh, been very thankful for getting to know you over the past year plus. The else I've gotten to know because of uh, YouTube is my good buddy Tricycle Guy. Jared and if you've seen his channel you you know he is the authority on Honda ATC knowledge and at my event he brought this to me and I have not put it up if I could get it in the shot here but this is a legit Honda banner I think it's the follow the leader banner so I need to get that up displayed somewhere I just ran out of time, wasn't, that was a horn. Ran out of time, uh, but I'll get it posted. But very thankful for you, Jared. You are awesome. And uh, I'm glad that, that we've gotten to know each other like we have. My good buddy, Slick, at West Michigan Motorsports. Hoorah! There he is with the AT Ski. Oh, there's a little 223 cycles, a little MRC builds. But thankful for you, Nick. I love uh, when we get to chat. You've become a very good friend to me, and I just, I'm thankful for that. Lots to be thankful for. I mentioned it a couple times so far. Back in August, I had my second vintage ATC ATV event, and uh, it was a blast. We grew, I don't know what percentage, but we went from about 140 people to just over 180. Uh, a full weekend event. Patrick Wells, like I mentioned, flew up from Alabama. Curdy came up from Tennessee. Uh, Nick came out from Michigan. Uh, you know, people from Maine, people from from South Carolina. Uh, it was a it was a very fun time. So we'll be doing that again this August. If you are in the area or you want to be in the area for the event, you know, mention it in the comments or reach out to me on social media. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. I'm on TikTok now. Lots of ways for you to send me a message. I know YouTube doesn't allow that, but I just want to say I'm thankful for everybody that came. I'm thankful that everybody had a great time, and uh, I'm thankful to watch it grow. So thank you guys for so much for that, and looking forward to the third annual. Two guys that helped out above and beyond at that event. I've mentioned one already, Tricycle Guy, my buddy Jared, and Jeff Mahar. Those guys just went out of their way to help run the events, uh, make sure things were were running smoothly and keeping me on track because I, I turned into a social butterfly and and uh, they helped me get through all that. So thank you guys. Sincerely, I appreciate it. I'll say a big thank you to my This Old Trike Insiders. So about, geez, I don't know, a year ago, YouTube came out with membership programs and it's a, a paid subscription basically to, you know, content that the regular subscribers don't get. Uh, so I set that up and called it the This Old Trike Insiders, but it has grown to 11 insiders that I'm very thankful for. Uh, Ken Gilbar, Jim Phillips, Andy Collins, Neil Casey, Jack Mortensen, Phil Herbert, Patrick Wells, Curdy Eldridge, Jarrett Holloway, Zachary Hart, and Gus Lewis. Those are my... My this old trike insiders. I I make you know very off the cuff videos and just put those out there to to see what the the day to day stuff going on at the shop is and and uh, very thankful for them. So thank you guys for subscribing and I appreciate your support. And uh, again, thankful. World change. I am thankful for Honda Hoarders. That's uh that's the group that Vinny started on Facebook. Uh, at that time when he started it, I had, I don't know, 
15 machines and I was trying to put this collection together and this was going back over seven years ago. So it's been a neat journey and I help run the page with, uh, with four other guys. Vinny's one of them, Mitch Rapucci, Ryan Mallon, and uh, Peyton Pietramala. Peyton runs the ATC Daily Instagram account. So if you've followed that, he was like the first big three-wheeler Instagram account. So, uh, but we run the page and we do a lot of cool things. We sell merch, sell the hats. Don't ask me if I've got any for sale. I don't. Um, but we've done that over the years to raise money. We give back to uh, the three-wheeler community by uh, buying machines for kids that have unfortunate circumstances and just doing other cool stuff. So it's been a neat thing. And I'm very thankful to be a part of that group, Honda Hoarders. I've got some great riding buddies that I'm thankful for. Uh, one that jumped out to me uh, because of our recent ride is my buddy Dave Essler. Dave is kind of the gatekeeper that, that gets me out on the mud flats. They've changed things. Not they, but things have changed. And you got to know somebody. And my, my buddy Dave is the guy I know that helps me get out there. So I'm thankful for you, Dave. I'm thankful for my buddy Doug Pete. I don't know if you'll see this, Doug. I guess he watches my videos, but Doug took me on some awesome rides uh, this past winter up on property that he owns and also does caretaking for. So that was awesome. Uh, just other riding buddies in general. When I go to Trike Fest, I'm always riding with my buddy PJ, my buddy Derek, and my, my great buddy Kim and Scott, brother Scott. So I know Scott likes to watch my videos, even though Kim doesn't. But I'm very thankful for all those riding buddies, and I know I'm leaving people out, but but if I've ridden with you, I'm thankful for you, so thank you for that. I'm thankful for Trike Fest. I'm thankful for the the guys at Three Wheeler World who put that event together. You know, there's only three of them now that have been to each one, Mike Hanley, Jim Smith, and uh, Howdy, but... There was a bigger group that put that event together, helped run it for us, for us as the three-wheeler community. And uh, just this past year, there was kind of a changing of the guard. Ryan Mallon and Scott Talbert stepped up to kind of be the new go-to guys that have put Trike Fest on and they did a terrific job at it. There's some changes that, that Hasman Acres, where the event takes place, there, there's changes that were happening anyway. It wasn't because of, of Trike Fest, but... Anybody that is involved with three with Trike Fest, I'm thankful for them because it is an awesome place to bring us all together. You know, you get to meet the people that you see on YouTube, that you talk to on Facebook, that you talk to in Three Wheeler World, any internet forum or or social media platform. You can most most of the time see them and meet them at Trike Fest. So very thankful. That's where I met Gavin from Shred Eighty. That's where. I get to see Curdy on a regular basis. That's where I'll see, you know, Nick from West Michigan Motorsports. It's it's awesome. So if you haven't been, you gotta get there and you won't regret it. One of the guys that I met at Trike Fest that I'm very, very thankful for just beat cancer. And I'm very thankful for uh for Jim Smith. You know, two Trike Fests ago, we had just the most wonderful time with him and his his grandson Button. And it was a week after Trike Fest was over that we found out he got some very bad news. And uh, he's been battling cancer ever since. And he just rang that bell just recently, you know, kicked cancer's butt. And I wasn't, wasn't surprised to hear that news at all. So very thankful for you, Jim. And uh, I'm glad that I can call you. Uh, I'm glad that I can call you my friend. Thankful. I'm very thankful for my friend Kim Dwyer. She just this year came out with the ATC product of the year. I guess these came out last year, but it's still two years running. Let me show you. So she comes out with these little pins. She's got big red, 250R, US 90. I was just holding the 350X, another US 90. Some people call those USA 90s. 200 Big Red. She had these patches made at one point. Little, little magnets. Oh, 
Apparently my door is not metal, I thought it was. But a lot for the the three-wheeler community. She'll make custom shirts. She's just a giver. She's a sweetheart. She is someone I'm very thankful that I get to call my friend. So thank you, Kim. Important. And you'll be thankful when you find a powder coater as good as mine. Mike and Christina Wood at Capital Region Customs are the best of the best. Very thankful that I found them. And uh, I'm very thankful that my buddy Aaron told me about them. So eventually my 88 Big Red will come back together and I'll be extra thankful. Watched any of my, uh, my Mecham auction videos. You'll be familiar with this guy that I'm thankful for. I'm, I'm thankful for the Red Chain Bandit because if, uh, if not for him, I wouldn't have been able to put those cool videos together and point out all his crappy work. So thank you for doing lackluster, uh, bordering on dishonest work. So thank you. Well, for my buddy Risto Pikarinen and Nick Duvall. Risto's from Finland and Nick is from the Netherlands. They, uh, they helped me get my 84 200E here from Finland. So very thankful for you guys. It was a weird situation, but we got through it and uh, actually got to meet Risto in person about a year ago, a little over a year ago. So it was very cool, but thank you for you guys. Thankful for my Instagram followers. Uh, I'm thankful for my TikTok followers. I'm on the TikTok now. Young and hip, you know, I'm always staying young and hip. But thankful for those guys. Uh, I'm, I'm most thankful from a social media standpoint, for my YouTube subscribers. So the channel wouldn't be anything without you guys. When I started this, I never would have thought that uh, I'd have this much interest. I had hoped, but honestly, I didn't think it would turn into what it's turned into. But it's been very fun, and I look forward to growing things beyond what it is now and, and uh, doing more cool stuff. So very thankful for you guys. But bring this to a close. I want to say I'm thankful for uh, my family, my my immediate family, my my kids, my my sister, my in-laws, my mother, and uh, most importantly, my wife. Uh, behind every great man is a, a great woman, and my wife is that for me. So she she keeps me uh, keeps me centered, keeps me on track, and uh, keeps me humble. So. But that's it on this great Thanksgiving day. Those are the things I'm thankful for. I hope you guys are all enjoying time with your family. That's what Thanksgiving is about. It's not about the turkey. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter what you're eating on Thanksgiving. But it's about spending time with those that you're thankful for and reflecting on, on the things and the people and, and uh, all the, the blessings we have in our lives. So I hope that's what you guys are doing today. I'm out. I'm going to go have some food and uh, put this video together and get it out for you. So thank you very much, guys.